My name is Kevin Fernandez and welcome to my channel, Gamers Genie. Today, we're going to be doing an unboxing video on the game Funkoverse, the DC edition. Now, I have the uh, standard game and I also have an expansion of the game, which has, uh, this one has uh, Joker, Harley Quinn, Batgirl, and Batman. This one has Robin and Catwoman. Now, you can play these games separately so you can play this one without this one you can play this one without this one or you can play them both together so you can play this one with this one so you can mix and match the characters and everything like that um you know as far as funko pops go i'm not exactly the biggest fan of them i have two like right behind me i have uh luffy and then uh right next to me i have uh the chamberlain from uh the dark crystal luffy's from one piece um he's not from the dark crystal I want, I want to point that out. But um, I did see this at Gen Con, and it did look interesting. Well, I saw the Harry Potter one. And it looked interesting and everything, so I thought it would uh, check them out. Um, but, you know, that's enough talk for now. Let's crack these nuts open, see what's inside. Okay, so I have the box right here. Um, it's got, like, a little action pack thing right, right here. It's got the DC logo, Funko Games. Um, it shows the four little Funko Pops it comes with, and uh, I mean, it's not really that much. It just kind of gives you a nice taste. I'm going to get a little zoom in here. There we go. We're going to flip it on its back side. It kind of shows you what the inside's going to look like, but we're going to take our, our little X-Acto knife, and we're going to cut open these, and I'll probably take them off later. Okay. Gonna flip this over. Take that off. Oh, so got some dice. It's got like all sorts of little symbols on it. We're gonna put these, I'm gonna see if these go here. So I'm just gonna put them right here. And then, uh, you know, you got. I'm gonna take these out. You got your Batgirl, Funko. Okay, so that answers my question. So you can't just like buy Funko Pops and then play the game with them. It's, it's like they got specific design stuff. Cause that's what I was kind of wondering. Could I just like buy like Nightwing or something like that? Oh man, these are stuck. I. But we got our so I'm going to assume the ones in white are for the villains and the ones in black are for the bad guys. I have no clue, but we got a, bat, a little Batarang and a little mallet. The mallet's for Harley Quinn and the Batarang's for Batman. It's kind of funny. He looks kind of like the Adam West Batman. He doesn't look like the, um, like Adam West had like way more brighter colors in his in the show and everything and then like you know he, moving forward batman had more darker colors to kind of fit fit with that darker tone that they gave him um and then these okay so there's more there's more because i was like wait wasn't there like a board or something so we got like some tokens and got henchmen knocked down really good tokens I can't wait to find out what these are for because I've never played this game it, it kind of got my interest though over time I know a lot of people over time for over time it got my interest like I said Funko Pops were never my thing and I kind of a little part of me rolled my eyes when I saw, oh, they're making board games for Funko Pops. Yippee. Now, there are several other Funko Pop games. I know that. And it did say you can mix and match, which is kind of funny because I know they have, like, Golden Girls. And so it would be really funny. You have Batman with the Golden Girls. Uh... I think they also had a Scooby-Doo one. I think they also made a Scooby-Doo Funko Pop game. Uh, that wouldn't surprise me because I know Scooby-Doo for, they had a, 
they had a crossover with Batman where um, Batman and Joker and the Penguin went up against Scooby-Doo and the gang and Batman and Robin helped them. But once again, it was like the Adam West stuff. And then we got some what looks like gems. Looks like some pretty sapphires. I am just spilling stuff today. I'm going to toss those back in the bag. Um, most likely I'll probably just put these in their little trays because it looks like you can just fit everything in the little trays and you don't need to do that. So we're going to remove this now. And, uh, you know, we got the rule book. Tells you, like, what you can and can't do. Cover of the box, you know. Got that nice cover of the box. It's weird that it's not Joker and Batman, in my opinion, because, you know, Joker is the arch enemy of Batman, as we all know. And, oh, we got cards. Got some nice cards here. Uh, I'm not doing any close-ups on those, because, I mean, the artwork doesn't seem to... Oh, talk about sad. The henchmen and the police officers is not only um, just they have no names, but they have no pictures too. And this looks like a little bit of a track. Um, I think this is like health, like how far until you're like knocked out. And we, then we got our character cards right here. We got the Joker, we got Harley Quinn, we got Batgirl, and we got Batman. We got these. And uh, I will... I will put that stuff... Let's see if I, it can fit in the little... Nope. So I will put all this stuff back in the bag. Um, just to make sure that I can find everything again. Because uh, that's something I always hate. Except I'll take the little cards and I'll put them off to the side in the little trays. We'll move that off to the side. And then we got the board. I'm going to take my X-Acto knife. I'm going to try to make an incision. Okay. So then we're going to rip that off. So, it looks like one side of the board, I don't know if this is for a number of players, but one side of the board looks like a, a, an abandoned theme park, which is usually where Joker always hangs out. And the other side kind of looks like a little bit of, uh, it's just Gotham. So it's just totally Gotham. Well, the theme park's also in Gotham, but as we know. So we're going to toss that in there. We're going to put this in here. This is really interesting because it's like the first game that I've had where, you know, the everything goes underneath and not above. So that's pretty interesting. But there we go. Here's the main set for the Funkoverse DC strategy game. Okay, so we have the second Funkoverse strategy game. This one has Robin and Catwoman in it. Um, a little part of me is confused on why Robin wasn't in the main set, but as long as we're getting Robin, all we need now is Nightwing. So we're going to flip this over on its back. It shows you all the stuff that you can get. It's pretty much the same stuff that I showed you in the first one. And I want to point out, so uh, if you guys want to play this game, but you don't want to buy that big set, uh, this smaller set will probably be more cheaper, and it's a standalone on, in on itself. You do not need the main game. So this is a main game in its in and itself. So once again, got some dice. I'm pretty sure, though, I said before earlier in this video that uh, the stands, I'm going to kind of breeze through this one a bit because a lot of it's the same stuff. Um, so we got the gems. 
more tokens, and the stands with a, yep, Catwoman whip. Um, little fun fact, Michelle Pfeiffer actually learned how to use a whip uh, to play Catwoman. Very interesting. And she actually did all those stunts herself. So, in Batman Returns. So we got our Robin. Oh, I'm trying not to break these guys because they got big heads and little bodies. We got our Catwoman, we got our Robin. At least you know they're not going to fall out. Okay, and then uh, like before, we have our, you know, our rule book. It pretty much tells you everything that it told you in the previous one. We're going to kind of breeze through this because like I said, a lot of the stuff that's in this one is just the same as what was in the one I just opened up earlier. So we have a guard, an inmate, Catwoman, and Robin. We got some Robin and Catwoman cards. We got an item and a status card. All right, and now the board. I know a lot of people love Batman games, but honestly, you know, I, I really, as a, as a comic book fan, I really wish that they would um, make more games based around DC, more different DC heroes. I know that they made a Wonder Woman game, and I know Wonder Woman's getting pretty prominent, but I think that's only because of the movie. But I would just, I just wish Batman would share the spotlight sometimes, especially game-wise. So we got, it looks like the inside of Selena Kyle's house. Oh, cool, so we're kind of breaking and entering. And it shows like different places that you can play stuff. And the other side shows it too. We gotta flip it over because these are double sided. And then this just looks, yeah, it's Arkham. So this is Arkham. It's got all the cells of the different villains. We have the Riddler, uh, we got the Penguin, Mr. Freeze, got Poison Ivy, um, oh, a whole bunch more. So that is interesting. Very interesting. I'm gonna put that in there going to be a nice quick unboxing video and I'm going to put the instruction book back in there and we're going to put that in there cover the um game oh boy and there we go there's our DC Funkoverse expansion and standalone game as well as the original core set um, to top it off fully done well there you go there's a nice look into the Funkoverse games the DC Universe now Jordan also got a Funkoverse uh, game for Christmas as well these were Christmas presents from Jordan's parents um, she got one that's the Harry Potter Funkoverse but we're not really gonna do an unboxing for that because Funko uh, Funkoverse is all I'm gonna say similar I'm not gonna say the same I'll go similar. Um, I just really wanted to show off the Batman ones because I know a lot of people like Batman. Um, I know a lot of people like Harry Potter too, but you know, Batman, we have the expansion and we have the core. Jordan only got the core set. Um, well, if you like, but if you like this uh, unboxing video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell to be notified for really interesting unboxing videos just like this one. Um, also, uh, you know, let me know down in the comments below what kind of DC characters would you like to see in expansion? There's two that I would like to see. Uh, I would definitely, number one, I'd like to see Nightwing because then I get another Batman villain and I get Nightwing. And number two, I would like to see an Aquaman one. That made money too. That made a lot of money too. So Wonder Woman isn't the only one who deserves to have that. But I think I might get the Wonder Woman expansion too, so that way I can have Wonder Woman fight against the Joker and all that stuff. We can have Batman and Wonder Woman team up against Joker and Cheetah. Um, you know, but, uh, you know, as usual, I will start do a uh, how to play video on the Funkoverse, but I will do it on this one. Jordan and I might use characters from this one too, however. Uh, but this is the one I will be reading the how to play from. Uh, just let me know who you want to host the video. Just put that down in the comments below, me or Jordan. And then uh, be on the look for, out for that. Uh, but until then, thanks for the views.